Happy Friday. Happy Friday, we're zomboiding. Let's review, shall we? Let's review. We are on the same character from last segment. Ooh, it's she leaps. And um, what we're going to be doing is something kind of exploratory. I don't exactly know where the police station is. Oh, what are these alluring structures here? I'm not sure. This road is relatively safe as a way to journey back up. I did just draw a horde into here, so that might be an issue. But I'm really curious to explore up this way. We need a gas tank for our new car. Yeah, look at this, we got a new car, ooh. So we need some gas for this, and I think at some point relatively soon, I really need to start trying to find some better damn weapons. Maybe there's some sheds somewhere nearby here. Little sheds like that. Been to this one, been to that one. Okay, well there's a shed here and a shed here, and there's a huge storage thing there. The reason I want sheds is they have like pipes and bars in them. You know what? I haven't gone up this way. Let's go to this one. Let's go to this little spot here. We have we have basically all the loot that we could ever want. In terms of food and a reasonable step one. Just worried about the amount of weapons. So we need some gas, we need more weapons. These are the sort of things we need. There's a lot of weapons vaguely on the ground over here, and literally amazingly. So this doesn't open. Amazingly, I haven't broken into this yet. Oh, shit, yeah. So I have rosewood. I might not actually have rosewood. I have Rosewood. Rosewood is a place out west. Okay. Shit. Okay. Back to the same problem statement as before. We really need another weapon. We just need another collection of weapons. Because I was wandering around with three. I had two pipes in the bag and one in the hand. Shit. Yeah, actually, you know what? We should we should we should we should craft some weapons. We should see what we need to craft some stuff. This wrench is just not cutting it, man. So, survivalist, we can make spears. Uh -huh. I mean, it's basically like, either way, I'm gonna need a lot of shit. I mean, I could technically go foraging for some, but I, I like this original plan. I like this plan of going to the next shed. Probably a bad game to take a break to take some sips of water. Lasaki, happy Friday, man. How are you doing? There was a little bit more progression in this game. It would be nice to, for instance, like be able to get slowly larger max weights. Because there's ways to like temporarily boost it, but I, I kind of want like my ability to go out and quest to like increase and shit. Ooh. 
and the way the rate at which it grows is a little slow. I know it exists, but I mean, like, I just I just wish that the way in which it existed was a little faster and a little more robust. Push-ups every day, bro. All right, fine. We're gonna start working out. We're gonna start working out. I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna, you know, literally next. Literally next. Yeah, we're going for shed, shed, shed. We are hardcore going for some skill building and crafting next time. I want to get my car up, though. So I want to go this way. Love how the roof of this house is visible over the fence. Yeah, this game has like a lot of really nice rendering touches. Did I not fill my mugs? Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, how many zombies are in this game? Don't answer that. See, like, if I had a lead pipe... If I had a lead pipe, it'd be so great. So many dead nerds here. Was it in my last game when I like played? I like crafted some spears. <laughs> and I like crafted one and I stabbed and it just instantly broke. Do they even have water back here? No. Left the hunting knife on that zombie? What? What? Holy shit. Oh my god, we have crafting materials. Oh my god. It's time to smash through some things. You gonna do the sneak attack with knives? I do, Luke, too. I do indeed. Now we're gonna need to find some stuff in the desk. Hunting knife is nice. I'm going to take my hammer that I have in my little belt here. Rambunctious is happy Friday, Dan. I just started my new course for the semester, and I'm so psyched. Cryptography and stochastic modeling. Oh, dude, hell yeah. I, I really like cryptography. Dude. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, look at this. All right, great. Oh yeah, I didn't take this because I got attacked.
Here's some right out here. Alright, so, so looking at, at the map. Maybe like this to get there. Oh, wait, I'm looking at this wrong. Jesus. I'm fucking going. I'm going. I'm not gonna be afraid. I'm gonna, use these, I'm gonna use these fences. I'm going. I'm going. I'm not afraid. In fact, I'm gonna take take a moment check the trunk. All right, that was fun. I did it. Is this game online? Sure can be. Oh. Don't look at chat when zombie fighting. This wrench sucks. I hate this wrench. Wait, was there a desk in there? Could I have destroyed that? No, I don't think there was. Hmm, how do we do this? I think we're going to go this way. How do I access these planks? Ah, oh, top, top option, unbarricade. Nice. So we should have planks now, so if I go to the crafting menu. Alright, so... Okay, we're gonna equip in both hands. Why is this the way that I do it? What's going on? Why is this the way? All right. I don't understand. Awesome. That is so cool. That is so cool. We still live at the med center? Huh. Oh, Jesus. Where is all this weight coming from? So if I do that, okay. Wait, what? I have this hunting knife. What the fuck did I make these crafted spears out of? Holy! Alright, I'm still on a quest for weapons. Never forget. Holy shit.
we're fine. We're actually totally okay. We're just a little tired. Now, I will concede that it really does feel like feels like these sheds were farther away than I had anticipated. That's what it feels like. Okay, I have a second to open the map. What? They're supposed to... Oh, I'm way off. Okay. this? Nothing? Okay. The walls in this area make for just really interesting and fun gameplay. Ever played Homeworld? I'm going to be doing it sometime in the next few weeks while she... We're going to be doing some nostalgia RTS gaming. Oh fuck, I hate this. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm just in the mood to play more OG RTSs, to be honest. Holy shit, we're amazing. Spear is unbelievable. Can I like take on the horde? Look how good this thing is. I Man, it's incredible. house because I can't get in. Hey, it's my it's my good friend the shed. Look at this. Whew. It's a fucking outhouse? Are we kidding me? All this way for an outhouse, huh? Who knew? We're, we're a little far away. Oh, Jesus. Right in the penis. <laughs> there we go. Great job. Really good job.
I mean, I'm amazed that we haven't set off an alarm yet. Meat cleaver could be something. Could be something valuable. Oh. And I'm back. Shit. I broke the window here, huh? All right. Is there a can opener? Eat all those chips, man. I want to take a nap. Sean said he loves us. Yeah, that's true. I do. I love you. I love you a great deal. Who's got some fun plans for the weekend? I got to run some errands. <laughs> Fill all. Hey, Kazikso! I was glad to have you stop by while we're live, baby. I really do need a can opener. I'm scared to just sleep in this bed, man. All right. I'm basically just taking weapons at this point. There's two machetes in here. Each one has a different... Okay. Let me actually... All right. Oh, Morn is. See, I'm definitely playing Stormgate when it drops. Oh, yeah. Hundred percent. All right. So let's see here. What 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 is? What's encumbering me so much? Do I have two hammers? No. Hmm. Dude, I don't need this shotgun. Who am I kidding? I'm like so rarely going to use shotguns. What do I not need? I don't need the map. Oh. This goes into the bag. Ta-da. Solving problems left and right by using the basic mechanics of the game. Unbelievable! Keep dual wield machetes. I mean. Alright, let's do this. Quit primary. I mean, I can dual wield them, but then I'm still solo wielding. If you know what I mean. Alright. What is so heavy? Dude, these, these crafted spears are fucking heavy, dude. I had no idea. 1402 jars. I've been watching for years, but don't catch streams often. Hope you're doing well. Wishing you a great 2023. Dude. So far. So far, so good. So far, so good. I'm actually... Oh, shit. You know, it's kind of funny. The things that I'm actually, like, really excited about this year is the fact that, like, we have a new place that's, like, quiet and big. Because my old place was just, like... It was just kind of noisy. The walls were thin.
you know, a lot of little things like that add up. So I'm kind of excited to just like, you know. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm excited to just like rearrange my office. You know? Like, for instance, you can see this little green screen issue has been a bit of a pickle for some time. But there, there's like a problem when you don't have a lot of space. Which is where, like, it's just kind of hard to do really basic things. Like, really hard to do basic things. Like, let's say I wanted to rearrange a certain area. Well, if you're rearranging area A, and you don't have a lot of space, you have to, like, put it into the bedroom. Where there already wouldn't be a lot of space. So then, like, the bedroom is, like, unusable for a set period of time. There are even times when we would just, like, we'd want to rearrange something, so we'd just, like, put a bunch of shit into the kitchen. All of a sudden, you have like trouble opening the fridge door because there were just like some objects there. That was such a pain in the ass. At some point, we were just like, "What are we doing, man? Let's just let's just get a new spot." Oh, this vehicle is fucking giga busted. Oh, it's U.S. store it, as in you store it. Got it. Is that another one of those sheds that's actually an outhouse? Okay. How, do, how does unlocking this stuff work? Is there, like, a global key in this case? Okay. Folding chair. I don't need more of those. Sledgehammer's how you unlock those without a key. Damn. Should have brought my hammer. Military desert boots. Yes, please. Fitness contraption. I mean, this is actually pretty great. Can this, like... Can that, like, actually break in? The garden fork is a good weapon? Alright, I'll give it a go. Let's give it a go! You got the key, right? Was the key a universal key? Holy shit. Holy fuck. Holy shit. I cannot wait for it to become light out. This is not the way to use this. He just fucking works. Oh, we have balls. Equipping both hands. Not, no, guys, it's dark. I don't want to do that while it's dark. 
I want to be able to see shit. Wow. This place has good shit. Okay. Equip in both hands. Equip in both hands. All right. Come here. Come here, gamer. Ugh. Jesus. Bulletproof vest? Holy shit, bullet defense. Damn. Time to become the hottest person that's ever walked the earth. Fuck! Oh my god. I shut the fucking door. Oh my god, I freaked out, and I hit E, and I shut the door, and they bit me. Ay, ay, ay. Well. Time to get as encumbered as possible and drop all this shit off. Is that game over? So this game has a little bit of a roguelike structure toward, uh, for it. Dude, if you're bit, that's it. Game's done. Well, okay, so so if you've never seen this game, here's how this works. So I made this character. Die. See, that's what I should always be doing. See, this, this says bitten. Infected, right? Alright, well, this sucks. Cut it off! So I stopped watching the, uh, oh my goodness. There's just good shit in here, man. Water bottle. Excellent. Alright, so we, what we're going to do now is we're going to try to set ourselves up for the best possible next thing. Okay, so I was slightly distracted, but let's come back to the previous statement of like, hey. How does this game work? Is this is this over? Is the game over? Oh. Oh. Yeah, I want all these. Should have gone back and gotten the other ones. Misunderstood. Where is this generator? Okay. Okay, so, so the way this game works is when your character gets bitten, they're now on a timer. They're going to die. So, when I create a new character, I spawn in the same world. 
And so, for instance, this little home base that I've made still works. Still has everything there. I dropped the generator? What? Oh, fuck. So I guess I can't carry it over the wall with me, huh? You know what? I'm actually going to drop the generator. And I'm going to keep exploring. And then I'm going to... Okay, so let me let me actually finish this, this statement. So, so the idea is that I'm still in the same world. So, like, if I spawn and then run quickly over to... Over to that same location, anything that I left there will still be there for me. So right now, I'm like, oh, okay, I actually have this incredibly great set of armor. I have a lot of really nice um, weapons. I have a hiker's backpack, which is incredible. Let's just, let's just make our last maneuver, gathering up some stuff, and dropping it off home. And then I'll actually probably call, oops, call the stream for the day. Wonder how I make it always do that. Do I have painkillers? Wow, nice. This has so much good stuff. I'm not gonna go back to those three maps. No, they were basic maps. Wow, second generator, damn. Yeah, we're dropping everything for our new character. I'm actually probably going to drop it off in the car trunk. Those work. Probably just more storage units. Oh, screw it. All right, we're going home. Any goal in this game? You just need to survive. Yeah, you just need to survive. How much time do you have left? My understanding is it's like a few days. Yeah, I, I really like this concept a lot, unemployed Shaku, because I feel like there's. I mean, this is like a classic roguelike dilemma of how do you make it so that there's stakes but that you don't feel oh that's the worst place you could possibly sit no get out of the get off the keyboard okay 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 careful get off the mouse okay you can sit there that is okay Oh shit, she fucking squatted on my video mixer. Sorry. <laughs> nope, nope, off the keyboard. Alright, here we go. It's yeah, so the classic roguelike problem of like, how do I make this 
feel important and impactful and dramatic and have the stakes be real. But how also do I not make you feel like you've lost absolutely everything? See what the game Rogue says? The game Rogue says, fuck the player. I want to see if maybe I can find a key in there. How many times you died today? This is this this would be the first. You always retain the knowledge though. Well, you know, for some players the knowledge is not satisfying enough. So I was, I was having a discussion with someone. This is completely unrelated to this game. This is, an, this is an interesting statement, okay? Suppose that we are playing a game of Dota 2. What do you think... Okay, let's say we're playing Dota 2. It's a MOBA. Or League of Legends, pick poison. Suppose that we are level 25. Level 30. Some high level. What do you... And so some of your power comes from what level you are. Every time you gain a level, you get some health, you get a little more damage, that sort of thing. We also have power from items. Items can also give you stats that will increase your health, increase your damage, stuff like that. Suppose we're level 25. Oh, shit. What do you think is the distribution of power? Like, what percentage comes from your items, and what percentage comes from your raw stats? And and give me the stat number for or the the XP level first. Like, what what percentage of your just your raw power do you think comes from? XP and levels versus the items that you have. Suppose you're a carry. And again, let's do XP first. Actually, just do me a favor. Give me the number followed by the thing like, you know, 60 item, 40 XP. Like that, that that's an example that someone wrote in chat. Give it to me like that. Give me your answer like that. Because I'm realizing I'm having trouble tracking what I'm saying as I'm trying to semi-stay alive. 90 item, 10 XP. Yeah, dude, Flash JL is... With some cursory analysis, I've been looking into this. But it's like... I was looking at a carry who, like, late in the game... Like, an enormous percentage just came from the raw XP. What is going on? It was like 75% of your powers from XP and like 25% was for from your item. It's crazy. That was crazy to me to see that. All right. Dice of Dreams in League of Legends, you gain about 500 gold per level worth of stats. 18 levels. Big item costs about 2.5k. 15k full gold build items. 9k gold in stats. Yeah, like, I, I was just surprised, just doing some, um, this is on the fucking ground. Well, this is embarrassing. I want, yeah, like, I, I want to dig more into this. I want to dig more into this, but this is, this is just like, I was curious because there was a game of Dota that I played where, like, we were broke. We were locked inside our base for a really long time. 
and then we we manage to successfully win. Hooray! And I was just like, man, but I thought they were so far ahead of us in gold. And yeah, I know that they could like we we can stun, and if you're stunned, you're disabled, and all this sort of stuff. Can I do like this? Can I? Yeah, put it in the trunk. Nice. So it's just like, I'm curious. I want to try to do some computation. And the computation shocked me. Um, actually, can I just do like, how much is in the glove compartment? Nice. And I mean, the, 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 and this is the thing that's like kind of crazy for me. Um, where are the car keys? They're in the trunk. Like, j just, just doing this analysis, and of course, like, I'm ignoring, like, oh, if you get this item, it's very good for farming, which can allow you to get experience and gold faster, and all that sort of thing. Just like, I was just looking at a carry at the end of a game, and was just amazed at how I opened up the same hero in Dota at a high level. Alright, where are we going to? I'm going here, and I'm going to go this way. Hands off. I was just amazed that I like opened up a live game, looked at the carry, looked at how much like health and damage and stuff was there. It was incredible just how much was coming from XP because I would have assumed that most of it's coming from items. I'd assume that it was like 80% of your power is your items. But of course, the more I think about it, I'm like, well, shit, like, if I'm gaining like 60 health per level. With 10 levels, it's like 600 health, which is already like a ton of health. All right, this is it. This is the final run. Look at this dummy zombie taking a long time. Do we lose the fireman? We dumped all the fireman stuff away. We got bit when we went to some storage facilities. Tuesday Twitch says, is that because we naturally spend most of our energy on deciding items where stats and XP are more passive? You know, I, I think that I need to do more thinking on it. Because, I mean, I really, I, I literally just fiddled with this, like, last night or something like that. But it makes me think that, like, the, the process by which you gain gold requires so much attention and so much action. You feel really engaged in it. And you feel the failure of missing a hit. You feel the success of making a hit. And, and I, I am a huge believer in the idea of binary observations. And what do I mean by binary? Well, I mean, like... If you have something that says give you 5% more health, 5% more health, 5% more health, 5% more health, it's hard to feel that. Whereas, if you have like, you know, a, a, a giant godly plate of the whale from Diablo 1, you know, something like this, and it says you cannot equip it until you're level 71. Even though your levels are going up in this linear fashion, there's this binary break point where you can't have the Plate of the Whale equipped, and now you can have the Plate of the Whale equipped. And so games do a lot of, like, making things binary. Leveling up is an example of a binary thing. 
You gain 5% XP, and then 2%, and then 1%, and then 10%, and 8%, and 2%, and 1%, and then all of a sudden, boom, you level up. There's a moment, there's a trackable event that occurs. We have a lot of mooting, mooting going on. And so, I, I, I think that with, with items, it's, there's all these binary collection events. I got a last hit. I didn't get a last hit. I got a last hit. I didn't get a last hit. I got one. I got one. I got one. I'm feeling little pips of success. And then, holy shit. I managed to successfully... Um, discomfort. Something doesn't feel right. It might be the fact that I'm wandering in my underwear, covered in blood, bitten, wandering through hordes of zombies. Or... I just need to eat a better diet. Hi, beautiful. Yeah, I can give you a little scratch. There you go. But then what's really nice is that, like, let's say I... You know, let's take the Battle Fury, which is a really commonly purchased item in Dota for carries because the Battle Fury does a cleave, so it lets you hit multiple things at once, so it's really great for farming. If you get a Battle Fury, you immediately can farm way faster. So this, um, let's say I'm having a good game and I get it at like 12 minutes. Oh, I feel it. And all of a sudden I am like getting it earlier in the game. And like 12 minutes is a moment that's way earlier than when I was having a really rough game. I got it at 18 minutes. Oh God. We might find the first guy. Actually, there's an idea right there. Let's go back and try to find our other one. You know, I actually think I'm going to go with the original plan and try to go up north. Well. Well, I've collected quite the truth. Is there a specific reason we aren't just letting her die? Yes. Um, when I die... My next character spawns in this world, so I want to see how much I can explore for my next character. Isn't that right, Despers? She is so sweet and so cute. She has her little tummy face. me. She's got a little tuft of hair. Whoa, we, got, we have a duffel bag zombie. shift. Oh, Jesus. On the line, you know. More of a rave, I'd say. Yeah, Bonalds, I, I, I don't think I know. I, I don't know fully. I don't even know what I think. And frankly, this is a low confidence analysis. I need to look at a lot more stuff. You know, but if I think about something like, for instance, a Ghost Scepter. Ghost Scepter right now, is it plus five all stats? Or is it plus four? Anyone know? Just like the Forrest Gump scene. <laughs> but mostly I thought about money. Billy's in, so we need some trumpets for the zombie parade. I like brass. You know, there's a really good electronic album 
called the Forest of Echo Downs. There's a lot of brass in there. Our characters come to the bite? Sure did. Goes after plus five. Yeah, like, and if you think about the fact that most characters on average per level are getting like 2.2 stats, 2.2 strength, agility, and intelligence per level. Like, it's pretty incredible to be like, yeah, after like two levels in Dota is like about a Ghost Scepter's worth of stuff. Zane says, what are your go-to podcasts these days? You know, I used to just literally never listen to podcasts, ever. Dude, I outran the fucking zombies. We're amazing. Uh, but I, I like listening to the, um, the Economists. The intelligence from The Economist. Because it's so dry. It's so dry. And I need more of that. Brief, nice, 20-minute little episodes. You know, I'll walk CC, and like, I'm literally going to go walk CC, like, right when my character dies and we turn the stream off and walk an old bone eyes. Um, the more... Editorial uh, podcast that I like. I like Maintenance Phase. Um, and as a result, I listened to a few of the If Books Could Kill. Why do you call CC Old Bone Eyes? <laughs> oh, God. I forgot about that. Hit my shift button once. Look, I'm exerted. Hacker Man. 99% Invisible is fucking awesome. I sort of only binge that. Like, oh, I'm on a road trip for six hours. I'll listen to this for six hours. So the reason CC is called Old Bone Eyes is that whenever there's a bone, she gets a really crazy look in her eyes. And so Brit called this Bone Eyes. Oh my god. I took the treat out and she got Bone Eyes. So then... <laughs> When I started calling her Bolt Bone Eyes, hey Bone Eyes, and then um, you know, old just worked its way in there. All right, I'm gonna go walk old Bone Eyes. Wait, why is she bleeding? Um, she's just not been having a great time, to be honest with you. Man, who needs a car? Am I right? Yeah, you know, why not? Oh shit. Ugh. I'm wait waiting for my character to just literally drop dead. Yeah, I mean, like, the thing about podcasts is that, like, I just don't have an opportunity to listen to them. There's just no reason for me to listen to podcasts. Like, I... I wake up, I'll do work stuff, and then I'm, like, streaming and I'm talking, and then I, like, walk the dog, and then I'm done. And Britt's like, want to hang out? And I'm like, fuck yeah, I want to hang out. And, like, sitting there listening to a podcast. It's just, like, no no space in there except when I'm walking. OBE. I don't have a commute. My commute is about four seconds. <laughs> Bored, depressed, hungry, thirsty, bleeding, panic, broken bones. My character actually feel feeling a little sad. What? It's not on the map. Oh, it's because it's in the midst of being constructed. I 
Lark, I can hold shift and continue to do this tap. I can to take these little sprints. Oh, that's not a fucking door. This is a big construction project here, huh? All right, here we go. We're jumping over. Uh, I didn't realize I could fail in life. Oh. Jeez, this map is fucking enormous. Holy shit. All right, we're going. I hit shift. It won't even let me do anything. Get out of here. I'm literally going to... I'm never giving up. My bare feet. And no pants. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty good. I literally stepped on him to death. <laughs> look, look, he's still down. My zombie's looking to finish the job. Yeah, you thought I lost that fight? Huh, -uh, we both lost. And I consider that a win. Good stuff. Survive for six days. Fuck yeah. So next mostly walking game, we're going to continue playing Shard Light, Doombringer Ale. Next week, we're going to be doing uh, mostly walking Monday. We'll do some Shard Light. On Tuesday, we're going to do um, Marvel Snap. We're trying to get a weekly Marvel Snap thing going. And then on uh, Wednesday, we're going to play Against the Storm. And on Friday, I was thinking of playing Neon White. Wednesday, or excuse me, Thursday. I haven't quite yet decided. I haven't quite yet decided. Can your zombie uncover more of the map? I don't know. He, so, is this Marvel Snap decent to free to play? I would say yes until you hit level 1,000, and then actually, like, you can't even spend money to speed up the grind. You just need a grind. I think that basic, like, because Marvel Snap is a very odd game in that it deliberately tries to ensure that you can't spend more money. It tries to be really, 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 really thoughtful. Um, which is awesome, which is, like, really cool. But the content unlocks so slowly after a level 1,000. Like, I could spend a shitload and I would unlock, like, two more cards. 